Hey guys, Peluji here. In this video, we're going to do something slightly different, and that's going to be an analysis of one of the most famous websites in the world, and that is Google. Now, there's a lot of golden nuggets that we can learn from Google itself when it comes to UI UX design and also web design best practices. So as we see the very first page of Google, it's very clean and very straightforward. So we have the logo, which uh, grabs the attention and of course uh, a big search bar. So essentially it's very minimal and all the other informations which we need for the UX uh, part uh, are essentially in a very minimal way since all of the emphasis is of course in the search. So you can see that, uh, yeah, we do have like the about section, advertising, business and, and so on and so forth. And also these elements uh, for basically going into the account, but all of the real estate is pretty much uh, focused on the main section, which is uh, the search bar. And uh, although it might not seem so, but the white space that surrounds this element actually gives it even more visual emphasis since all of the focus is on here. Now, if we go ahead and we search, for example, for iPhone, we can see how clean the UI and the UX is and how straightforward it is. So basically the search goes all the way from the center, all the way up on the top left in order to give it less visual emphasis since now the emphasis has to be on the content itself. So the search results and everything is created for a reason. So as you can see, we have the top menu items right here, which are going to allow you to basically go and search for different criteria. And uh, the bulk of the results are going to be here. And uh, if we look at the visual hierarchy, this is really interesting since uh, the very first element that we see is the hyperlink. Now we see it even before the title, but notice how the title actually has much more visual emphasis compared to the hyperlink since uh, the hyperlink is important, but uh, you want to see what is, uh, this, uh, what is the H1 essentially in uh, coding. So basically the main title, which is going to be a brief description of what the page is going to be about. And also over here, we have the two lines uh, of description. Now there was a time where Google actually tried uh, having three lines of description. Now they reverted back to two. And uh, although there's a lot of UX testing, like these companies do like tons and tons of UX testing. So making assumptions is not really the best uh, uh, thing to do, but I guess uh, it didn't perform as well since uh, it was a little bit more cluttered. So they decided to revert back to just uh, two lines. So this is a perfect example of how less uh, is more in certain cases. And uh, over here, we also have the different models, which we can uh, click directly. And uh, this is also really interesting. So basically they uh, introduced uh, in uh, recent years, or maybe it has been for a while, I haven't noticed, but basically quick answers to search queries in the form, in a, in a way that essentially enables you to view different search results without uh, leaving the browser or actually without leaving the main page of Google. So as you can see, this can be really, really interesting as well as the top stories in a video or blog format. So basically, as you can see, the search results are going to be tailored around what the user is searching for. So for example, if I look for San Francisco uh, UX agency, we're going to see a slightly different uh, format, meaning that uh, we're going to see here, well, first of all, a lot of ads because every company is going to be advertising or at least uh, um, all, the, all the big players are going to advertise here. And on the right, we're going to see some suggestions as to the reviews and top agencies which are available. And each and every search result is going to be slightly different and is tailored around what the user is searching for specifically. So based on the search results, we're going to have different results. So always think about the user and try and they really make a great effort and uh, with great results to create a product, a, a user centric product. 
So this is pretty much it when it comes to the basic analysis of Google. Now I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And by the way, I recently created a free UX design course, which is going to teach you all the basics on how to get started in this field. And I myself have over nine years of experience. So I'm sharing it both in that free course and also on my over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.